got this in pocket. I got that on. Welcome back to Ventilators, Types, and Modes. Uh, well, the screen you're seeing now shows the three basic modes of mechanical ventilation. Hopefully, you have an understanding of what assist control does. And as I said at the end of the last uh, video, we're going to skip SIMV for a moment and go to CPAP. So let's cut to that screen now. Okay, I'm going to change this mach machine over mode. CPAP and accept. Okay, now I'm in CPAP and if you'll notice the machine as we wait for five or six seconds to go by and it doesn't give a breath, well there's a reason for that. The CPAP is uh, spontaneous breathing. Now the ventilator got tired of waiting, took over and started doing apnea ventilation. Okay, I'm on CPAP and I'm breathing spontaneously. So CPAP is a mode where the patient does all the breathing. The patient decides when to breathe. If they don't, there's an apnea setting that after 20 or 30 seconds, whatever you have your apnea set on, if the patient fails to breathe, the ventilator will take over and go into assist control. Alarm silence here. Uh, the patient decides uh, how deep for that spontaneous breath to be and how fast to breathe it in. So the patient controls every aspect of his breathing in CPAP. Now why would you have somebody on a ventilator but in a mode where they breathe on their own? I mean, doesn't that defeat the purpose of a ventilator? Any idea? Yeah, that's exactly right, to wean the patient, because not everybody on the ventilator wants to stay on there forever. We want to give the patient a trial of breathing on their own to see how they'll do before we extubate them and pull the tube out. So CPAP is a step in their weaning. It's usually the last step. If the patient can breathe well on CPAP and maybe and their blood gas looks okay, maybe we can extubate them. Okay, so, so far we've talked about two of the three modes. The first one was assist control. Every breath is a ventilator breath, whether the patient starts it or the machine starts it. And we talked about CPAP, where it's completely spontaneous breathing. You can have PEEP with CPAP, and you can have uh, your FO2 set, but those are really the only parameters other than a pressure support, which I'll talk about in a minute. So what about SIMV? What is SIMV? Well, think of SIMV, and I'm going to put it in that. Mode. Uh, volume SIMV. I have a volume and a pressure. I'm still in volume ventilation. Except, okay. Now, I have notice I have set on my SIMV rate of 10, 500, 60 or uh, 40 percent uh, peak flow of 60. Now, how is SIMV different? Well, the control part is the same as the assist control in that this patient is going to get 10 breaths. Those breaths will be 500 cc's a piece because that's what I've dialed in. So uh, together this equals what, 5 liters per minute? So the patient is going to guarantee to get a mandatory uh, ventilation of 5 liters a minute from the ventilator. But what the, where the difference between assist control and SIMB come in is what happens when the patient takes a spontaneous breath. Now, in assist control, and they took a spontaneous breath, it took over and did what? Delivered the tidal volume at the peak flow rate. What do you think it does in SIMV? It's just like a CPAP breath, where it, it kind of ignores the patient and lets them breathe on their own. So, I don't get the set tidal volume in SIMV. So, SIMV you might think of as a weaning mode. Let me turn, I've got an alarm here I'm violating. You might think of SIMV as a weaning mode because uh, if you want to perhaps turn the rate down and see how the patient does, if they're in assist control, the ventilator is going to control each breath with 500 cc's of the peak flow rate, isn't it? So you're really not finding out what they are without the benefit of the machine, but in SIMV you can start turning your rate down. Here, let me turn it down to six. 
and then you can see as the patient going to make up the difference in minute volume by breathing on their own. And sometimes we might re wean the patient to an SIMV of six or four before we go to CPAP. So to review, here's the three modes. Mode number one, assist control. Every breath is a ventilator breath. Whether the machine starts it because the rate timed out or the patient started it. They're all uh, positive pressure mechanical breaths. Uh, SIMV is an intermediate mode. It's called synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. The, re the reason they use that word synchronized is if the patient is in the middle of a breath or let's say it's monitoring their spontaneous breathing and the patient has just took a spontaneous breath, but the rate says it's time for one, it's going to wait. So it's not going to breath stack and throw a breath right on top of another breath. It's not going to do that. It's going to, it's going to uh, check the fact that they're already in breathing by monitoring it, not breath stack. Okay. And uh, then finally you have CPAP, the third mode, where the patient breathes completely on their own and they're getting uh, nothing from the vent. There's no set rate. In fact, if you look, if I change it to, look, notice these things that disappear when I change over to CPAP. See? The rate, the set rate, the set tidal volume, and the peak flow rate, they all disappeared. Let me just cancel this. Okay, back to assist control now. Okay, now when you're checking your vent, you're going to uh, note the minute ventilation. And uh, right now we have a patient set on a volume AC of six. And I'm going to breathe for the patient. I'm squeezing my bag to make it to simulate a breath. Let's see what I'm breathing. So now I'm breathing 10 breaths a minute. Each breath should be 500 cc's. So my minute ventilation should be 5 liters a minute, and it is. And so your minute ventilation is always the total, and it's always the product of the exhale tidal volume and the set rate. So it's constantly changing as the patient may speed up or slow down their breathing. So if I did nothing, uh, I should get 6 breaths times 500 cc's, or what, 3.2 or, or, or 3.0 liters per minute? I mean, it'll take a second, but it'll come down to that. Okay, now in SIMV, what about minute ventilation in SIMV? Let's go to SIMV mode, volume. SIMV and accept. Okay, now the patient's still going to get the mechanical portion of three liters a minute, 600 times five, but anything else is going to be spontaneous breathing. So you might think of it as SIMV as two types of breath mechanical and spontaneous. There's a spontaneous breath, a spontaneous breath. Now, what I want you to notice is this, this uh, square right here delivered the tidal volume at the peak flow. Each time the patient exhales, the breath will be shown in that square. And as you can see, it just changed, and that's because the ventilator delivered in a spontaneous breath. And here's another spontaneous breath. And if we wait, we'll see another assist control breath, and the ventilator is attempting to deliver 500. This slide is a summary of what you're seeing here. As you can see, some breaths are around 470, and that's the assist breaths, the ventilator controlled breaths, where the ventilator is attempting to deliver 500. And then you'll see some breaths come in at or come back at 140 or of 150 ml. Uh, these are the spontaneous breaths that the patient is taking. My question is, do you think pressure support might help?